I can't figure it out. You'll either deny Christ or deny self. You either confess Christ or confess self. The word of faith is confessing Christ. That's what it is. If thou shalt confess it. That bothered me. Did it bother anybody else besides me? I thought, you mean that's all people have to do is say, I believe in Jesus with their mouth? And walk down an aisle and stand in front of the church? Yeah. <laughs> I walked the aisle more than any human being. My father being an old country Baptist preacher, lean over the pulpit and say, if you don't know tonight, this may be your last chance. I'm, I don't know, I don't know, and I take off again. 150 times, I guess. These men have twisted the word of God that I love with all my heart, and I don't like anybody that does that. They're froward, aren't they? A slothful man is froward. Froward, there's about 12 words for the word froward in the Hebrew. It means to twist and pervert. They have perverted the word of God because they're lazy. Preachers are lazy. They're the biggest bunch of bums I've ever seen in my life. They're bums. A bum is a guy looking for a free ride, and they're getting one. These guys that get four and five hundred thousand a year. If you think Benny Hinn makes four or five hundred thousand a year, you're really mistaken. Millions. Personally, I'm quite sure he draws a salary of 10, 15, 20 million a year. Those people bring in 75, 100, 150 million a year into their organizations. They pay their workers peanuts. They rake it in for themselves and they live. Like one reporter said, one commentator on national TV said, they don't live like millionaires or even multimillionaires. They live like billionaires. The last count I had, Paul Crouch had 37 huge, humongous homes all over the world. He owns TBN. 37, huh? Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland has got thousands of acres of land in Texas with thousands of heads of cattle on it, and he's in oil and everything else. Go on the Internet look it up. And where did he get that money? From the poor. That's where he got it from. Some little lady down here on Jefferson Street, and she don't have enough money to pay her light bill, and they switched it off, but she sent her last nickel to Kenneth Cope, and she had to go stay at her daughter's house. And all she's got is a screen door on the back of her house. She don't have any good air conditioning. She has to live in the heat. But she's giving, all of him, giving him all that money so he can live like this, like this Maharaja. That's his heaven. Huh? That's... The Bible says, one of you that rich, you have your consolation. They got all they're ever going to get. How would you like to be Kenneth Cope when God picks him up and says, I'm putting you in hell, and he winds up like catfish hunter and goes, <laughs> throws him into hell? Or Nolan Ryan, more like Nolan Ryan. God throws, a, God throws a, a vessel of wrath fitted to destruction faster than 100 miles an hour, though. That's all Nolan Ryan could do. I'm out of time. I want you to know, and I'm going to stay on this subject. I'm going to stay in these verses where they're saying they were twisting verses, using their voices to create their own world. They actually tell the people, the way you get what you want is you say it over and over and over. You tell God what to do, and he has to do what you tell him to do because he's lost the control of the world. Let's pray. Father, thank you for truth. I am so disturbed at all this false doctrine out here. Give me strength to continue, and Lord, give the sheep the strength to continue. These are such evil, wicked men that are leading <coughs> the sheep astray. Some of them are sheep, and a whole lot of them are goats, Lord. Call the sheep out, lead us to your elect. Open up doors for this ministry so they can reach out here to a world that, to an elect world. You're only calling us to the elect. Help us find them, Lord. You know where they are and you know how that this can be opened up because they're starving. We'll praise you, give, give you glory for all things. In Christ's name we pray, man.